Hi guys, Rob from Royal Vault. We're going to do a uh, clean of the Bolneo short tails this morning, so just a quick run through of the procedure. First thing I do is to get an empty clean top already pre prepared. I'm going to put some bedding in because the Bolneo short tails do actually like a little bit of bedding. I don't, but uh, I'm going to try and wean them off, so we'll, we'll put a little bit less than I put in initially for them and just try and wean them off. This is Coco Husk, it's a local product. I think that should be enough for them this time around. We can always add a bit more if not. And what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of preventer mite because we sometimes get mites coming in on the bedding. So I'm just going to wet the bedding down a little bit with. Might spray. A little bit of water just to dampen that off. The Borneo shop tills do like a little bit of humidity. Move that across a little bit. First guy out here. So all I'm going to do is transfer the water ball, top it up with a little bit of fresh water, move the label across, and this is the tricky part because the snake is in here. So we lift up the hide. In the new tub, and you can see that the, the snake is immediately nervous. So we'll just gently lift him up, put him into the new tub, and there we go. And we didn't get bit. So I'll slide this tub back into the rack. me up now. That straight into the bin. Reptile safe disinfectant. Give that a good spray. Take the towels. Then just a quick spray with this very mild anti-mite stuff, used for preventative purposes. First layer is newspaper. Absorbent and that absorbs all the disinfectant. Now I use IKEA wrapping paper. 
it's white, so it's very easy to see when it's clean. It's a little bit stronger than just ordinary unmarked newspaper. So I put that in the tub, and this empty tub here is going to go back in the rack. I'm not going to immediately reuse this, I'm going to let that sit with the mic medication in there as a preventative, so that will be absolutely spotlessly clean next time I need to use it. So we'll take the next empty rack, because we have two. Run through exactly the same procedure. Spray. Just to make sure that nothing comes in on the bedding. This is local bedding, I don't think it's sanitised, it's just bagged up and sent to the pet store. So, prevention is better than cure. We'll just dampen that down a little bit. Two bony or short tails, this is the more temperamental one. Take him out. Go to the water bowl, water bowl still clean. Just top that up. Move the tag across. And you can see inside the hide. The snake has actually hidden itself completely in the hide. So again, just very gently. Take this guy out. Move him across to the new top. And again, job done without being bitten. In. And that frees me up to do exactly the same thing with this tub. Clean it out, uh, put paper in, and put it back in the rack ready to reuse. So that's both Borneo short tails, a complete uh, deep clean of both their tubs. Job done. Check on the bony or short tails. About 10 minutes after they went back into their tubs, you can see uh, the snakes are using their hides, but they're not nervous anymore. They're not tucking away right at the back and hiding themselves away. They are sticking their heads out, quite relaxed and um, ready for food. These guys do enjoy their food. Very good feed response. And the good thing about bony or short tails is they're also quite clean. They uh, they don't poo very often, only once every uh, two to three weeks, so a little bit cleaner than other snakes. You can see her tongue flicking, just curious as to what's going on. So we just close her tub, have a quick look at the other one, make sure that one's all good in there. Yep, and exactly the same thing, they're using their hides, but um, Sticking their heads out, curious, um, looking for food. Typical ambush position there. So very pleased with the way these snakes have settled in. Uh, there is less bedding in there for them this time. I'll try and wean them off the bedding. Uh, now that they are settling in and using the hides, I think um, we can slowly reduce the amount of bedding. Uh, make it easier to keep the tubs clean. So there we go. Great stuff. job for today. This girl is due to lay in the next couple of weeks or so, uh, so just add a little bit of material in there for, for her to, uh, to nest in. You can see how thick she is at the rear end there and um, you can see the spine 
the bulges where the, the eggs are. This girl has had a pre lay shed. So just a little bit of cocoa husk and a little bit of sphagnum moss in there and we'll just dampen that down and she can um, she can burrow down into that, shift it around and uh, nest just so that she feels a little bit more comfortable than plain paper. So that's um, in preparation for her laying her eggs. This is the pastel vanilla clown bred to a pastel yellow belly spot nose so these will all be holdbacks from this clutch and there she is so we'll get her back in a rack in the dark so that she can do whatever she needs to do to get comfortable and we'll leave her to it So there you have it guys, a little bit of uh, routine work in the snake room. If it sounds as if I'm a little bit paranoid about using bedding, it's because I am. Um, out here in the tropics, um, if you use bedding at all, uh, you must make sure that it stays dry, otherwise it uh, produces mould and it's also a breeding ground for any type of insects, mites, anything that might come in. Um, from outside in the tropics um, the environment is perfect not just for snakes but also the parasites that live on snakes and um, so they can come in from outside not necessarily be brought in by people or other snakes that you're bringing into the room stuff can fly in from outside crawl in from outside so it's vitally important in the tropics if you do use bedding to uh, to just check and make sure that there's nothing coming in in the bedding or that nothing can breed in the bedding if it gets a little bit wet so keep it dry use a little bit of um, I use Jurassic mite but it's uh, diluted um, and I use it as a preventative I spray the, uh, the, the tubs with it I spray the bedding with it because the bedding is untreated and uh, very often you can get stuff coming in on the bedding so something to watch out for here in the tropics that you don't have to worry too much about I guess in in more temperate climates where the mites and stuff and uh, they're not coming in from outside they're only brought in with people uh, warm-blooded animals or on the back of other snakes that you introduce to your collection so it is something that I'm very conscious of I uh, vacuum quite regularly the floors around here um, I do spray around underneath the, the, the racks just to uh, to try to keep the uh, the wildlife out uh, only the snakes are welcome in here nothing else so I do tend to use paper substrate most of the time and that's the, the reason for it. So um, probably not applicable to you guys, but something to watch out for for guys in the tropics. So that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.